Um, are we a fairly challenging day all around? Yeah, it was. Um, you know, I think we've we've had those challenges already in the last couple of games with you know not really knowing what was going on with COVID and who was in and who was out and things like that. And I think um, we're getting better at adapting to that sort of emotionally and um, just dealing with things on the run a little bit. But it is still a challenge. Um, and, you know, maybe after, like, it, it, will, it will become harder and harder the more and more that, that happens, I'm sure. But, um, you know, I think today... Again, we've sort of obviously lost a lot of quick and early wickets there, um, similar to what happened our last game. And, you know, Dan, he had a great game with the ball and then absolutely whacked him there at the end with the bat. But I just thought he batted really smart tonight. Um, looked like he realised and recognised sort of the guys that were going to be dangerous and especially while the ball was hard. Um, and, you know, we saw in their innings as well that while the ball was hard, it was quite difficult. Um, and they sort of cashed in at the back end, just similar to what we did as well. But, you know, we left him a big hill, hill to climb. He, he got a fair way up there, but, you know, unfortunately the, the hill was just too far. What are you going to do to bounce back in, I guess, in 24 hours? Um, well, thankfully, it looks like we're going to be on the same wicket tomorrow. Um, so, well... I mean, that's going to be a challenge in itself, but we know that the Heat haven't played on that wicket yet this year. So, um, you know, at least we played on it tonight. We can take the, the learnings from it into tomorrow. Um, and hopefully everyone will be better for the run. Um, and, you know, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> it was like oscillating for a while. <laughs> all right, I'll, I'll just stand on. The... Yeah. Um, no need to panic, though, for a team like the Sixers. No, I mean we've we've had losses, and even tonight we we almost we almost got there. Looked, I thought I, I sort of looked at Shippy at one stage. Was like, we're not going to do it again, are we? After after our last game and getting out of trouble like we did, but um, you know the hill was too far. Um, but we've, we'll learn from tonight, um, both bat and ball. Um, I think. We probably had an opportunity there to keep him to about 120, um, you know, and you know, even again for me, dropping that catch, um, we could have put a lot more pressure on them early. Um, and then, you know, Hardy, I think faced 14 balls in a row, the last 14 balls of the innings. So if we were able to get him off strike a few more times and keep restrict them to, you know, say 125, 120 or something like that, then the ch the chase looks very different. Um, and at the same time, you know, when you're four for 20. Um, you're asking a lot of your middle to lower order and you know they almost got us out of trouble again tonight but you know I think there's individually we will go away and look at what we can each do better um, and then you know I guess try our best to execute tomorrow. Just one final one, Hayden Kerr um, came into the tournament, you know, hadn't played, didn't play at all last year and, and for a, half an hour, an hour there today is the leading wicket taker in the competition. What do you, what do you make of him? Well, you probably have two more wickets if I held on to my catches. So, um, I mean, you can probably see by the way I, you know, even used him with my captaincy. Um, he bowled the last over tonight and bowled the third last over. So uh, I'm extremely confident with when he's got the ball in his hand. He's, you know, got great control. Um, he's very clear with his plans. He's confident at the top of his mark. Um, and, you know, he's, yeah, I, I'm really impressed with how he's going. Um, and even his little knock there tonight at the end to build a partnership there with Dan. Um, you know, I'm, I'm excited about you know the trend of his career at the moment. I think you know even in the other formats as well, One Day Cricket and Shield Cricket, he had a couple of really strong games leading into the Big Bash. So um, I'm glad he's had a bit of an extended run and he's doing really well. So that's yeah, you know, I think signs are looking good for Hayden. Thanks, Cheers.